Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Well, it is officially autumn, and so tonight I made a fall themed dessert that is super easy. It is going to be pecan pie mug cake. So come along with me and let's get started. So mug cakes are very popular in the low carb world. Um, they're very popular in the standard American diet world too. In fact, a lot of companies will make packages now like Pillsbury and things like that where you can microwave mini cakes. So they are a very popular dessert for a couple of reasons. They're individual sized so it keeps portion control stable and also they're convenient because they're quick. Usually less than five minutes from preparing the batter and microwaving it. So this particular mug cake is pecan pie and so we're taking all of the flavors of pecan pie but putting it with the ease of a mug cake. So come along with me and let's get started. So we are beginning with a tablespoon of melted butter in our measuring cup. You could use a small bowl if you prefer, but I do like the spout on my measuring cup. So that is one tablespoon of melted butter. And to this, we are going to add the rest of our wet ingredients. So I would like one tablespoon of heavy cream. You could use um, half and half or almond milk. It doesn't have to be heavy cream, but that's what I'm using. We're going to need one egg. And I'm going to give that a stir and break up our egg. It's important to make sure that when you have melted your butter in the microwave that you don't immediately add your egg try and add your heavy cream first because that will assist in cooling down the butter because if it's not tempered you could end up curdling or basically scrambling your egg so definitely either let your butter cool or add your cream or almond milk or whatever you're going to add to kind of cool out the temperature of your butter so that you don't scramble your egg and the next step, I am going to add one tablespoon of Tarani sugar-free caramel coffee syrup. You could just use vanilla extract if you wanted in this set, or you could add some other flavor, but I feel like the caramel really gives this pecan pie flavor to our mug cake. So I've got all of our wet ingredients here. So now we are going to start adding our dry ingredients. We're going to begin with almond flour, and you need two tablespoons. So there's one and two. You also need two tablespoons of coconut flour. There's one and two. You're also going to need sweetener. I'm going to be using Sucran Gold for this because using a brown sugar alternative or a brown sugar natural sweetener is very good in keeping with the theme of our pecan pie. So Swerve makes a brand. If you don't have this, you could just use another sugar alternative, uh, but I really do feel like this makes a difference in the flavor. And I want two tablespoons of this as well. And then our final dry ingredient is going to be baking powder. And I want a half a teaspoon. And this is going to act as our leavening agent, giving us the puffiness of a cake. And then you just want to stir everything together. And you're going to have to stir it for a little bit because it will start out clumpy and you wanna make sure that you get everything well incorporated. Making sure you're scraping the sides and the bottom. don't want any pockets of leavening or pockets of uncooked almond flour. Okay, we can see now that our batter is nice and creamy and that's what we want. Okay, I'm going to be using a ramekin for this step. You could use a mug because it is a mug cake and you need to grease it. So I'm just using avocado oil spray. And then I am going to put half of this mixture into our ramekin because this recipe makes two mug cakes. So about like so. 
and I'm going to microwave this. I'm going to microwave mine for about one minute and 30 seconds. Depending on the wattage of your microwave will determine how long you will cook this mug cake. So if you have a microwave that is 1100 watts or stronger, you should be able to cook this in about a minute to a minute and 30 seconds. If you have a lower wattage microwave or a microwave that's smaller, you might need to go as, as much as three minutes. So just keep checking it. You'll know it's done because it will spring back like a cake that you've baked in the oven. You can also do mug cakes in the oven, at generally at about 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. So you would cook it just like you would a regular cake and check for doneness and keep an eye on it. You could also do this in a toaster oven the same way. So you can see that it's done. It springs back and it has pulled away from the outer edge of the ramekin and that is what we want. I'm going to set that aside. So you're going to need for the topping four tablespoons of butter and we are going to melt this. Okay, we have our melted butter and remember that this topping that I'm making right now is going to be for two mug cakes, but I'm going to be making all my topping at the same time even though we've only cooked one mug cake so far. So I'm going to put that in a small bowl. We're going to need pecans, of course, because this is a pecan pie mug cake. I have measured out two ounces of pecans. And these are my beloved butter roasted pecans that I do myself. We'll link the recipe for that in the description box or up in the eye. And I'm going to give these a chop. You don't want them to be too terribly fine because you want to be able to see that these are indeed pecans and, and not too powdered up because you do want to be able to taste the big chunks of pecan. So I'm just going to give them a rough chop. They are nice and crunchy. Okay, so I'm going to add those to my bowl with the butter. Now we're going to need two tablespoons of the sucrine gold, which is the brown sugar substitute, once again. There's one and two. And then we are going to add two more tablespoons of our sugar-free caramel syrup. So there's two tablespoons. Give that a good stir so it's made a nice beautiful syrup to go over our mug cake which is going to give it lots of moisture. So our mug cake has had a second to cool. I'm going to remove it from the ramekin and put it on a plate. Take a little bit for it to come out and it is quite warm so definitely be careful. There it goes. Okay, so it's nice and porous and it should be ready to receive our toppings. So I'm going to cut it so I can spread it out on the plate like so to receive all of our toppings. And I'm just going to start spooning this. letting the drizzle come down onto our cake. So if, if you would like to finish it off, you could put some heavy whipped cream on there for presentation. That would be very good and it would be also um, in keeping with the pecan pie is having a little bit of whipped cream on the top. That's just totally personal preference. So here we go. Here is our pecan pie mug cake. Now it's on. Hi CJ. Hi. 
Welcome to autumn. Tonight I made you a delicious fall dessert. It is pecan pie mug cake. I'm sure that's what it's called. Not pumpkin pie. No, I kept I kept calling it pumpkin. I will be making some pumpkin recipes, but yeah. this is not one. This is really good. Um, super simple to make. I'm sure I can make this. Oh, then it must be super simple. And the additions of the Tarani's caramel, um, whatever the syrup is called, mm -hmm. that's really good. I think that sets this apart. I agree. I know people, everybody that might not have it, but if you can find some. You could use sugar-free maple syrup if you don't, if you can't find Tarani's or. That's true. Sugar-free sugar maple syrup. But work. something in that caramely, mapley family yeah. really makes a difference. Yeah, to me. this really makes a difference. I don't know if just putting like vanilla extract in it would bring it good this flavor. So that caramel. I think um, it infuses into the cake. Yeah, that Tarani's um, really uh, is really good. So. Good, good job, and I think people will like it because it was, it took us longer to make it than probably it normally would take anybody to make just because we're filming it and all right. that stuff. Right. So, yeah, good job. Thanks, baby. Bye bye. So, thanks for joining us again tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the deliciousness of mug cake, and that you will consider subscribing and coming back and seeing us again. I hope to be making some more autumn themed recipes and recipes taking us into the holiday season so we do not want you to miss out on any of those so please consider hitting the notification bell so that you know when we have uploaded new content we are also on social media we are on facebook instagram pinterest twitter and all of our recipes are located on our blog and that is cjsketokitchen.com and on there we have our recipes a lot of them are principled we also have all of the nutritional information and the macros and other recipe ideas if you're interested, both the ones that we're currently working on and ones from previous years. So go ahead and head over there and check that out. We hope that you'll come back and see us again. And until that time, bye.